So bees, I have just arrived back into my in my hometown and I'm currently on the way to the garage to get one of the corpses and afterwards I'm heading over to the beekeeper's shop where I'm going to be spending the last of our money, sadly. To be fair, we did achieve a hell of a lot with the money that we've raised from the first mint. I'm pretty happy pretty pretty happy that we've managed to not only achieve what we said that we will with the money that we've raised but also we are over delivering with six more beehives than initially promised the initial plan if you remember was to go for like 25 beehives and 25 families but instead we've managed to be very wise in terms of how we're spending the money and therefore we are now able to afford additional six families and additional six beehives great news so yes guys i'm going over to the garage now get whatever i need and then i'm go going over to the beekeeper shop and once i've finished doing the shopping i will show you exactly what i've purchased because it's going to be interesting what i'm buying now is um it's going to be something quite good for the bees in a way that is um, more of a luxury kind of thing in terms of the um, you know the tops and the bottoms that we spoke about um, it's hard to explain it I'll just show you once I get them I'll just show you and explain you then why they're considered to be more like luxurious kind of thing right so this is what's happening now and I'm hoping to have some time left to do a bit of painting because remember we have the eight additional legs for the bed frame that's you know somehow I miscalculated right so as we said we've got the six tops additional ones because now we have the swarm right there right then we have the well these these go under the tops and I'll explain to you how they all work. This is like this is like a two in one kind of thing. I'll show you in a second. And then we have the bottoms. Um, okay. So I'm gonna try and do this whilst I'm holding the phone. So let me demonstrate to you why these ones are considered a bit more luxurious, right? And they cost a little bit more money. So the ones that we have at the moment they're nothing like those okay these ones are quite special in a way that they collect um pollen okay so we're going to be able to not only collect honey from um the beehives that are going to be you know with this bottom but also at the same time collect the pollen so let me explain to you how that work this gets removed okay there is a completely different there's a completely different reason you know for this kind of thing but we'll come to that at a later stage once we get to it so you lift this up and whilst this is lifted instead of the bees going up through here they will start going through here once they start going through there there is a catcher of the pollen catcher so they once once they've gone through there and the pollen has been caught they will come out of these holes right and here at the back is where we have our tray Obviously, these are all the bits and pieces that come with the, um, you know, these are the legs, that kind of thing. And this is the actual tray where the pollen is going to get collected. Okay, so let me put one beehive together for you. So we have the bottom. Then we have the corpus. Just so you get an idea of what it looks like. Ah, sorry, I'm just going to have to use my other hand as well. Okay, here we are. Okay just a slight mismatch in terms of the colors but i'm sure we'll be able to live with it then we have the feeder this is a proper feeder okay so we have one for liquid food and for solid food as well the idea is exactly the same as with the other one it's just this one is a little bit as i say more luxurious because it's combined and it does the job of a Oh, God, how would you say that in English? I'm not quite sure what the actual term is for it. 
But um, do you remember the wooden bits that we have on our other beehives? I'll show them to you next time I'm around them. So we have solid liquid food and then we get one of those bad boys. And we put it right on top. Here we are. So this is what it looks like. The idea is, is that as the family develops, obviously we're going to keep adding more frames inside. And once we've, we have fulfilled the whole corpus of 10 frames, we're going to add another corpus and we're going to keep doing the same thing until we get up to about, you know, three corpuses. So yes, bees. These were some of the things that I purchased. Then I also bought all of this. Which I'm going to need and I'm not over, I'm not done yet. I'm gonna to have to buy some special shoes as well. So here we have the smoker. We have the pallets for it. This is what we're going to be burning. And got this, the frame lifter, and a proper outfit, yeah. As it should, obviously white, because summer's here. I don't I don't know if you know, but summertime. It gets pre-orable. It gets to about 45 degrees Celsius. And that is hot, man. So, yeah. This is our last money gone now. I've actually managed to save 50 quid because they bargained for all of this to, you know, get me a good price. But it's just Bulgarian things. So, yes, guys, we have that extra 50 quid, which I'm going to use for purchasing, um, what do you call it? Acroflex like liquid rubber because then I'm gonna to have to start buying paint once again And I'm gonna to have to revert back to painting beehives the tops that we've just purchased and more corpses as well uh, Yeah That's it for the time being guys Am I missing something? No, as I say, so I'm just gonna water the trees right now and I'm going to do, go do a bit of painting in the garage, you know, for the feet of the the bed frames that we forgot. And that's it for the time being. I have managed to do the first coat. There we go. So we have the additional eight legs that were missing <laughs> for the bed frame. So that's now all done. Over here, we have the products that we bought with the last money, eh? We're gonna be working with the bank of Xanders from now on. I'm joking, it'll be fine guys, no worries. To be fair, right, I was chilling in the garage earlier. I was just looking around, Look, ignore the mess, yeah, despite the mess, okay? Just looking all of these things, including like starting from the bloody like, you know, nylon on the, on the floor, all of this as well, all of them frames, the corpuses, the sugar, it's like, well, it, is it, this is not even all of it. There is, um, as you know, there is more on the um, outside, under the shed, over there. You know, all of these machines, the extension cords, spray guns, all of the corpses over there as well. It's just, with the amount of money that we had, and what we got, I'm pretty proud of that, to be fair. We've done really well, bees. At least I'm very happy with it. Please let me know what you think, if you obviously think um, otherwise, and if I could have done something better. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with today and the overall progress that we've made, guys. Things are actually happening, happening at a very good pace as well, which which is really what matters. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day now. <laughs>